see, we go to many manufacturing facilities and they don't get tool holding. But I've traveled to Fraser and Ash today and they're just a little bit different. Andy, why is it you em embrace what you think is, is, the, is the best uh, tool holding technology? To be fair, I mean, it's one of the, probably the, the most essential parts of machining. You can spend half a million pound on a machine, you can buy the, uh, the best tools available to, to cut the metal with, but if you haven't got the bit to hold it in the right place, you might as well not bother. Um, it's a bit like the wheels on your cars. You can have the best tyres in the world, but if your, if your wheels are slightly out of round, it's going all over the place. So um, we worked with the Heimer for just over a, a year now. Um, fantastic system. Obviously, it heat shrinks the, uh, the tool into the holder, so there's less vibration. It's concentric uh, sort of where we want it. So it means that it cuts evenly on each tooth of the, uh, the cutter rather than sort of on maybe one or two flutes of, um, of an end mill. So you get a much better surface finish, less vibration in the job, and much more accurate in the overall. Obviously, Jaime, they've got a large array of tool holders. What are you using here at Fraser Nash? So to be honest, predominantly, we tend to use the long reach heat sink versions. Um, we do a lot of five axis milling, a lot of very complex five axis milling. Um, it makes the ideal thing, especially over when you're going 200 mil into a job um, with the, the quick grind cutters. You just need that extra support um, and rigidity in the uh, in the tool holder to, to get the accuracies. I don't know, you're a subcontract, you've, you've got an OEM product, you make OEM product, but you're also a subcontract machine facility. So, you know, performance, getting that, that part off, off the uh, machines important. You need cycle time reductions. Cycle time reductions and scrap rates as well. I mean, how many people lose a job because the cutter's gone off or because it's broken mid-job because it's not rigid enough? Since we've been in, I think we've probably cut that down by 25, 30% at least. Um, you get a much more precise part first time. It's what everyone wants. And Fraser National Manufacturing, I hear you're investing even more money. Yeah, so we've already ordered uh, two more Mazak 5 uh, axis machines uh, to join the three we've already got. We've got a Mazak Mega Turn as well on its way beginning part of next year. So we've spent the best part of nearly three million pound over the last five years since we've been here. Um, and that's now showing no sign of slowing down in the near future. Will Jaime get a look in on maybe some of the more you know, tricky tooling? Absolutely. Um, they're an absolute godsend and they're an essential part of our kit now. <laughs>